Now, I don't have to tell you about Amazon. It's one of the largest online sales channels in the planet and there are tons of businesses who are selling goods on it. Heck, you may be one of them. While Amazon by itself offers you some capacity for tracking, you will still need to do your own inventory and order management as well as taxes, unless you opt for FBA, in which case they will take care of the handling, storage and shipment parts for you. Irrespective of your choice, you will still need to purchase the items from manufacturers and suppliers and update real-time stock levels to Amazon by yourself. And if you are into offline sales as well, then you will need to balance your inventory between online and offline demand. This is where Zoho Inventory comes into the picture. Zoho Inventory will keep track of your stock flow, your cash flow and your taxes across multiple locations, currencies and channels. It centralizes your data and allows you to generate comprehensive reports that can help monitor your progress. At the moment, we support integrations with Amazon.com and Amazon.ca which are available only on the US and Canadian editions of Zoho Inventory. By integrating your Amazon seller account with Zoho Inventory, you will be able to sync your online items and sales orders from Amazon and fulfill them inside of Zoho Inventory. On top of that, the integration automatically adds new Amazon customers to your inventory database and updates real-time stock level and shipment information from Zoho Inventory to Amazon. To put it simply, this integration will grant you the ability to manage and track all your online sales, offline sales and shipments from a single app. Preparing your Amazon account Before you try and integrate Amazon with Zoho Inventory, you will need two things from Amazon, namely your seller ID and a MWS Auth Token ID. To generate these credentials, open your browser and log in to your Amazon seller account. Under the App Store menu, click the Manage your apps option. Click the Authorize new developer button and in the developer's name box, enter Zoho Inventory and in the developer ID box, enter 8614-4472-9264. Click the next button to proceed to the license agreement page. Accept the Amazon MWS license agreements and click the next button. This will generate your account identifiers, namely your seller ID and your MWS auth token ID. Copy them and store them safely because you are going to need them when you integrate Zoho Inventory with your Amazon seller account. Now let's see how you can integrate your Amazon seller account with Zoho Inventory. Now to do that, I want you to log in to your Zoho Inventory account and navigate to integrations and select marketplaces. Once you're in, click the Setup Now button under the Amazon logo. In the following window, paste your seller ID and MWS auth token ID and click the connect button to proceed. Your request will be authenticated by Amazon after which the two apps will be integrated. Upon integrating the two, an initial data sync operation will be initiated. This can take anywhere between a few seconds to about a whole 30 minutes depending on how much data you have. Meanwhile, you can visit the integration page to configure your data sync cycle frequency. You can import online items, view sync history, or you can also initiate a manual sync process for your orders and customers if the automatic sync hasn't kicked in yet.